to show you how to use the inventory bill of materials in the assembly entry in Dynamics GP to create finished goods and relieve component items. Let's take a look at this simple bill here. I created this, it has a number of component items. I've also added a flat fee item here for labor. Here I can record the number of hours I want associated with this particular bill of materials when it's actually assembled. So this is a basic bill of materials. I have items from my inventory item master as component items. I have the quantity based on what I need to create this finished good item. And that's pretty much all I really need. I can have as many items in here as I want to. So the next step then is to actually put this together. We'll use the assembly transaction to do that. Let's go to the assembly transaction. Again, it's in the inventory area page under transactions. We'll select the site ID from which we want to pull the component items and enter the finished good item. Put that in the batch. We'll select the bill number that we just were looking at here. And we'll select the assembly quantity and the status. So new status is a brand new transaction. We're going to release this right away. It's going to go out and allocate the inventory to this. Here you can see the stock quantity for this particular item. And then all we need to do then, we can save it in the batch if we want to. Once we release the assembly order, all we need to do to process it is to post it. I'm going to take it out of the batch in this case. I'm just going to post it online in real time. It's now relieved those component items and it created the finished good items in my finished goods inventory. Let's take a look at the general ledger transaction that's created from this assembly transaction. You can see here the first four line items here. These are credits. It's pulling dollars out of the component inventory. I'm also pulling out $30 here, which represents the labor that I had in that bill of materials. This goes to a labor offset account. So that'll help you control not only the items in the bill of material, but also any flat fee items you might have, for example, like labor or overhead. This is a quick example of how you can create bills of material in the inventory module and then use that in an assembly transaction to create finished goods and relieving component items and fixed fee items from your inventory. Thank you.